Okay, today we're going to walk you through how to build a almost a hybrid dashboard which includes both standard gadgets and also ones that are already pre-created uh, using an HTML container and uh, you just simply put in the URL string of that dashboard and it'll display. So the purpose of doing this is to have kind of a, a bird's eye view of uh, all your dashboards if needed and uh, just some versatility and um, easier easier use uh, for setting up your Connect Smart. So let's go ahead here. We'll start from scratch and we'll uh, we'll just start this uh, dashboard. And um, we're actually going to go to New Dashboard, and we'll call this one an Overview. We've also got uh, this to be a Service Manager. And we'll leave it in the organization. And you can click OK to apply your changes. Yes, we'll overwrite the one we just had. And then I'm going to hit the Edit button right here. And um, the first thing I'm going to do actually is get some cell layout. So I'm going to use the HTML gadget. Uh, so you can actually drag and drop or double click. And uh, that'll add these to the actual dashboard itself. And once they're added, then we can just drag them around, kind of get things situated. So we got a quadrant, four quadrants there. And I actually think I'm going to add a just a standard gadget just to show you the, the ability to do hybrid. So we also want to go over to, um, we'll just grab a standard, maybe a help desk ticket. Okay, so right now we've got a bunch of empty containers as well as a standard gadget. And we're going to go ahead, I'm actually just going to remove the title on this because we know what that is. Actually on these as well, I'm going to go through and just remove those. Uh, you could you could label those as pure preference. In this case, I'm going to get rid of these titles. Okay, now uh, the first step is we're going to actually add a, a URL string for a predefined um, dashboard that we have. So I've got those here. And I'm going to click in this cell and I'm actually going to just paste the code. So it's an iframe with a URL string of a dashboard and it also has some styling uh, telling it I want to use a certain style of modern UI and a black theme. And we can just for, uh, for example sake just hit, hit apply. And what that's going to do, it's actually going to load that dashboard. And you'll notice there's a silver border around the outside. That indicates that this is an embedded dashboard. Uh, this is a standard gadget, and this one is embedded. So let's go add a couple more here. And this one actually is just a simple clock. You can find all sorts of HTML widgets and gadgets online. Uh, but It's just a flip clock. Uh, just to kind of show you some of the versatility that you can do with the HTML containers. And then I think we'll actually go down to this one here. Actually, I'm going to drag this out so it covers that cell. And put that one here. And this one here. So let's see what this looks like. You've got four different URLs. Uh, this one is just a, a clock, but three different predefined dashboard URLs. So if we commit the change here, it's going to redraw these. Okay, and it's loading. So we've got SLA looking at a certain uh, help desk board. We've got uh, a couple gauges looking at a help desk board. And over here, we've got some utilization. Now, you'll notice on this one on the right here that the, the styling is a little different. So just to show you that you can actually change the styling. You can have independent looks if you so wish. So this, this applies for both alerting as well as the themes and the styles. So right here, after you've got the the dashboard file name, you would change that theme or the style, um, whichever you prefer. So we'll go from classic to just the black to make it consistent with some of the others. And once we reload that, 
you'll see here it's going to load those values in that style and theme uh, to match the others but you can do independent if if you so wish so that's just a quick overview on how to do a hybrid dashboard and it's great for uh, getting a real just bird's eye view of what's going on in the organization without having to have to recreate some dashboards if you have some that are already built you just grab the URL string and just plop it in and resize it and you're done so I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll talk to you next time